Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? We finally made it, Jared. Finally made it. We finally made it. The long, arduous journey through the wasteland is over. And, and it's time side. to have a drink. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. Didn't get much of a crack on that one. I apologize. <laughs> um, the Akron Zips, Kyle. Yeah, no. The Akron Zips. Your enemy has returned. No, your enemy, the Akron Zips. Kyle, before we get started on Know Your Enemy, however, we have a starting right guard. His we name do. is Tegra Chabola, which I, I, I was, I was in on Carson Hinsman. I was a bit surprised, but, but believe, Tegra wins the job. Yeah, I believe uh, Ryan Day did mention that there's going to be some healthy, not not verbatim, but pretty much there's going to be a healthy rotation going on there. But I don't like rotation Tegra on the offensive did. line. The offensive line's mm-hmm. like the quarterback to me. You, you pick your horse, you roll. I agree. I agree. But I, I think that, yeah, you roll with the first team and then you see how everybody does afterwards because as we get into Know Your Enemy, they're, they're, we're going to see a lot of Buckeyes. We're going to see a lot of Buckeyes this weekend. Fair. I mean, it's Akron, um, right? It's Akron. I, I, I don't... And also... That's... Rotation is a different conversation against Akron than it is against even Purdue. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, like another another player we're going to see a lot of, uh, just in time, uh, Aaron Scott Jr. Uh, gets his black stripe removed. So, most likely going to see uh, freshman Aaron Scott Jr. Uh, getting some play play action in in this weekend's game as well. I mean, I think we'll even see some dudes who don't have their black stripes off yet for for this yeah. it, it, it's akron ohio state kyle i'm a, it, it favored by 50 favored by 50 yeah. and a half like we'll give our opinions on that number later in the show mm-hmm. uh, the, but the that it's, a, it's a big number it, 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 this is let's just say this seemingly most likely the worst team on ohio state's schedule like, I, I don't feel like that's a controversial take. Um, it's Akron's not good. Akron's not good. These aren't controversial takes. I'm not I'm not being a dickhead right now. I'm not being um, articulate right now. <laughs> um, yeah, they're 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 not a good football team. No, it's Akron. I, I didn't want. I did want to say one one last thing before we get into um, the main part of our episode here. Uh, Chip Kelly going to be starting in the booth. Yeah, that that was not what they said was going to be happening during camp. Although I think they did also say that that wasn't settled in their defense. But yeah, no. It, it, I feel better about it. Don't get me wrong. I like having Chip Kelly up in the booth. I think having your offensive coordinator up in the booth is a is a is a good idea. That makes sense to me. I again don't feel like these are controversial takes either. Uh, I, I'm I'm happy to hear this. the The one thing that made me okay when they said, "Hey, Chip Kelly's going to be on the sidelines." You know, that's where they were leaning. That's where they were going early on when that seemed like that might be the case um, was the fact that you can now have all of those quality control consultant, those non-coaching coaches. They can now be they can now be present on game days. Mm -hmm. So you could have your your quality control offensive advisor, whatever guy up in the booth. Yeah, you could have like a real X's and O's type of guy up in the booth who wasn't one of your coaches. I think that would have given them a lot more flexibility if Chip Kelly was really going to insist on being on the sidelines. So, you know, it didn't feel like a disaster or anything to me that Chip Kelly was going to, but I feel better that he's going to be in the booth. Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right. Anything else? 
Uh, no, it's time to talk about the uh, about the enemy. It is All time. Right. Akron, Akron to know our enemy. The Akron yes. zips. Kyle, Akron. Do, 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 do you know what the, the zips are named for? Oh, I did at one point. I, I don't remember now. We have two we have two sloop cats in the chat. Do you guys remember? Do you guys know? I mean, their 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 logo is a kangaroo. Can't say I. I'll say this. I'm going to give you a hint. The zips, not originally. I don't, I don't know if they've retconned it. Not originally, a a kangaroo based nickname. I'll say that it's I'll say that it's Akron adjacent. Is there a zipper company in Akron and doesn't it come from the number zero? Ooh, that would be, that would be brutal. If you named your, if you named your team after zero points, um, was there a zipper company in Akron? Yes, sort of. Um, I believe I, I, I didn't look this up beforehand. I probably should have the Akron, uh, the, but I believe it came from a boot company. That had uh, zippers, zippers on the zippers, boots, which was, and they were rubber which was also boots. The name, yep, zippers, which was also the name of a popular rubber overshoe sold by Akron's BF Goodrich Company in yeah. 1950. So it, it all it all comes so back to go. rubber because it's Akron. Yep. Uh, last year, again, just using numbers from last year, but uh, yeah. Last year, Akron, not not that good. Two and ten last year, one and seven in MAC, the MAC conference. Uh yeah. It was not was not a very, very good year for for Akron. Good news. Good news is that they got some they got some transfers for, for Akron. They got some transfers that came in. Uh Ben Finley uh is a trans quarterback transfer from California. Jordan Simmons. Uh, I totally forgot about Jordan Simmons. Uh, he had he had a great freshman year at Michigan State. Yes, he did. Um, not so, not so much his sophomore and junior year. The transferred over Spartans to, to in Akron. general were unimpressive last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, made his way to Akron. He's going to be the starting running back for for Akron. And um, and Shaman Cooper, who, who I believe was a four-star recruit linebacker who committed to Illinois, uh, made his way over to Akron last year, I believe. Yeah, I, I don't just, remember just, specifically what year, but yeah, uh, just just some just some names to throw out there. But like last year, um, yeah, out of out of the per the. Um, the stats that we that we have here that we that we use um Akron out of the uh not the power five but the um group of five group of five 63 teams so out of 63 teams yeah. offense there were 62 out of 63 yeah and then defense overall they were 43 out of 63 not comparatively much better yes but Still, still in the bottom half. Still, yeah. And I'll, I'll I'll say this that they, you know, as Kyle already pointed out, they went and got some offensive help through the portal. Um, I'd like Jordan Simmons. I quite frankly think Jordan Simmons probably, I, you know, I'm gonna shit on Akron again. Probably could have found himself a better home, in my opinion, unless there's off the field stuff I'm not aware of that I. Just I I'm not saying there is or there isn't. Just saying, based purely on a player, just based purely on his on-field doings, I feel like he could have got a better home than Akron. Um, maybe he's from Akron. I I don't know the full story, but I I, I again I really liked him as a freshman at Michigan State. Michigan State as a whole fell apart last year. I don't know if you can really hold that against him. Um. And I'll say, like, Akron doesn't have anything impressive going on on the offensive line. So even if you like Ben Finley, transfer quarterback from Cal, even if you like Jordan Simmons, even if you like Amari uh, Granger, who they brought in um, from uh, Old Dominion. 
Simmons is from Georgia, I guess. Uh, is, he is, is, yeah. did you He's look originally there? from Georgia? Oh, okay. I, I don't know why Akron I, if, again, unless there's other things I'm not aware of. I feel like he had a really good freshman year at Michigan state and probably, I think deserves a better home than Akron based purely on his freshman year at Michigan state. Um, but yeah, I even, I mean, especially in relation to the Ohio State game. They're not going to get much of anything done on offense. Because even no. though, like, I like no. a, I like some of these individual pieces. Amari Granger, Jordan Simmons, Ben Finley's fine. Um, I... <laughs> It's not going to matter against Ohio State, especially since they just don't have it up front. Like Ohio State really should destroy them along the trench. Agreed. Yep, completely agree. I don't really have much else to add on to that. Just looking at who they have on the on the offense and uh, defense here. Yeah, I, I think I think the biggest question here it's not so much will Ohio State win. It's the question really is by how much, by by how much here? Yeah, 50, uh, 50 and a half. Buckeye Esquire 15. in the chat says sh uh, shutout or bust. I feel like it'll be a shutout through three th through three quarters. We'll see what shut happens late in the game. Yeah, shout out, uh, shut out by the starters. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I think that's a totally achievable goal. Mm -hmm. Quite frankly, yeah. Um, so what what do you what do you what do you expect? What what would you like to see, Jared? What would you like to see in this game? Obviously, like Ohio State, big favorites, big favorites in this game here. A uh, lot of a lot of talent coming back. A lot of a lot of players deciding yeah. to stay. Yeah, adding in key pe adding in key people both on both sides of the field to make this team even stronger. Yep. What are you ultimately looking at in this game to um? Um, what, what is the key thing you're looking for um, when, when the clock when the clock strikes zero? I'd like a shutout. I feel like it's been a minute since Ohio State got a shutout, even if it's against Akron. I would like a shutout. I'm not predicting a shutout. It's difficult to predict a shutout. But I would like a shutout. Um, that's totally achievable in this game. You know, go out and do it. I, you know, I do feel like they'll probably give up something in the fourth quarter to to ruin that. But do you remember the last time they, they shut out a team? Anybody, uh, anybody I, remember? It's been a it's been a few years. It has been like it was it was a Greg Schiano defense and it was against Indiana. I 2019 was it 2019 was the year it was greg shiano won 42 to nothing 40 you know it was 42 to nothing uh justin fields had a great game jk dobbins had almost 150 yards against the bearcats cincinnati oh that's right that's right that's right nothing. that's right that's right that was the last game that uh Fickle lost in Cincinnati for like a, a from there on out through the rest of that. No, I think they lost to Memphis in the that was the last regular season game that they lost. For, I think over a two year stretch because I think they did yeah, lose they lost, to Memphis they, they lost, in the, they in lost the back to back, championship yeah, they lost game. Back to back games to Memphis to end the season. Oh, year. so it wasn't just the championship game. I'm misremembering that. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. but then I think we beat Miami, Ohio that year. To, but then it went on 2020 undefeated. Yeah. Uh, anyway, back to Akron. They have okay guys on defense. Um, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm like I'm not gonna totally rip the defense. I I like their linebacking core. I don't think they have anyone on the defensive. This it's a good warm up game for the offensive line. So Kyle, you ask. What do you want to see out of this offense? I want to see utter dominance along the offensive line. I, I don't think that there's anyone coming in who scares me necessarily. Um, CJ Nunnally, 
I'm probably mispronouncing that as is tradition here at the Sloopcast. Um, is is a good edge rusher. I, I think Ohio State should handle him. Uh, I I do like the linebacking core at at Akron. So you know you might see some rushes or some run. Uh, stopping ability from them but if we if we look strictly along the offensive line versus the defensive line i really want to see utter dominance there i feel like we've started to hear through fall camp that the offensive line's looking better the offensive line's looking better hey we're we're starting to feel a little optimistic about the offensive line okay we'll go out and prove it against akron and you can't have a good game against akron as an offensive line you have to dominate the game Mm -hmm. as an offensive line against akron I agree. I agree. Um, I agree with you. The just complete utter, utter um, just dominance. Last year, like Ohio State played Youngstown State. Again, I, I think there was just a lot of, they played a lot of different players in that game. But I mean, Ohio State um, only won 35 to 7 in that game. I want to see more of a dominance than that type of game. I want to see more of a, um, Maybe not let up 21 points, but kind of like um, the previous year in 22 and Ohio State beat Toledo 77 to 21. I want I want a pure dominance on both sides of the field, uh, both sides of the ball there. Um, and and just and just see just see what you can do and just try to try to try to get that shutout. Try to prevent as less yards as you as you can then. Uh, Buckeye Esquire says he wants to see 300 rushing yards and minimum 50 points scored. I mean, you might get those 50 points. Um, they could get 300 if they wanted 300, but I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna want to let Will get, Howard get, try 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 to yep. play a little. You, you got to get Howard. You got to get Howard some reps. So you got to oh, get the timeout. Um, those rep. It would be funny. Again, like you're going to beat Akron. You're going to beat Akron. It would be funny if Ohio State just came out and ran like the wishbone. Yeah, the wishbone. essentially. I mean, why not? Why not? Like, why show anyone your playbook? Just come out and run the wishbone. Is that the even all that crazy? All, all game. All game. I mean, it's a little bit crazy because you're not used to running it It and it would be kind of stupid. I understand. That being said, I'd enjoy it. I I would. Oregon will have to prepare for it. Uh, I mean, sure. I mean, sure, they would. But at the same time, like, I think you want it would be really funny to totally hide the playbook through the first three or so but, games, that would be funny. But the, and, the and I can is, make and I can make an argument as to why that would not just be funny, but a good idea. But at the same time, do you want Will Howard running your offense for the first time against a real opponent? Probably not. But we're for, but I think some of us are forgetting that Oregon it's still a month and a half away. It's not like it's their their first I know. Big Ten game. It's it's a month and a half. Month Listen, and a half. Kyle, I'm mostly joking. It's this is know your enemy Akron. We can only fill so much time being serious. Yeah. Uh, right, speaking um, of uh, spending so much time, it is time for our first ad break. Uh, I would like uh, to invite everyone to join our Patreon, patreon.thesloopcast.com, where if you go there, you can get ad free version of the show. You can get early access to the show. You can get premium access to the Discord server. However, the Discord server is free. It is free. There are premium channels in it. You can access those premium channels through Patreon. You can actually access you can actually access them through um, a program within Discord, but that costs you more money and gets you the same thing. So I recommend using Patreon. Um, you can also buy merch from us at merch.thesloopcast.com. Uh, we also have 
merch that doesn't look like podcast merch. And you know what I mean when I say it looks like podcast merch. You, you, you get it. You, you So you can buy t-shirts from us that doesn't look like podcast merch at 7071.thesloopcast.com. And Jared, if you're like, Jared, I don't know what all of these links are that you said. I can't keep track of all of that. I'm driving right now. I can't write these down. Just go to thesloopcast.com and that will show you where all the other links are. Uh, you can avoid... Other than not avoiding the ad I just did, you can avoid the annoying uh, Spreaker ads that are coming right now if you join up at patreon.sloopcast.com. Okay, Kyle, we are back. I would say, like, we've talked about Akron. We've done our job. We we did a good job. We talked about Akron. Um, let's, let's predict this game. Let's go ahead and predict this game. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, Ohio State player to watch. It's hard, 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 hard to pick one one person, uh, just because it is the first of the year. Because yeah. it is Akron. I, I'm going to go with Judkins. I'm yeah. going to I, I I'm going to go with Judkins. I think that Ohio State will mainly run on the ground. Yes, they're going to. They'll, they'll throw. They'll get their throws in. Get get the um, playmakers the ball, but. Henderson, yeah. Judkins getting the ball a lot. And I, I think we're going to see some pure dominance of Judkins and remind remind college football of how dominant he was at Ole Miss. Yeah. And, you know, let's yeah. It, first game of the season. Let's let's see what I mean, I mean, some of hit, the news guys going to hit the he's going to hit the B button and just spin, spin quarter of the spin. field around quarter field around if, to get if around EA, everybody. If, if, if the new EA game is any indication, he has a killer spin move. Uh, I'm going to go with Sonny yeah. Styles. Sonny Styles, not a new player. We're looking for in week one, but is an old player at a new job. He makes the move from safety down to linebacker. It is announced that he is the starting will surprising. Nobody. Um, I do think that we see some rotation at the will position, but he's the guy. He's he's the dude. So we see Sonny Styles in a new position. I'm watching. I'm looking for an ups or not an upset. Excuse me. I'm looking for a shutout here. Uh, you know, he's one of the few new pieces. Uh, you could throw Caleb Downs into this conversation as well, obviously. But he's one of the few new pieces we see in this defense. Again, same face, new position. But yeah, I'm 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 looking I'm looking for Sunny Styles this week. Uh right. chat. Jared, chat. any funny names to pronounce? I already failed one earlier in the show. I may have failed it. I don't know. I probably failed it though. Well, while I try to find one here. Uh chat, who 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 do you have for Ohio State player to to watch for this game? Uh it, it, Esquire said Tegra. I don't know if that's exactly what he was talking about, <laughs> but Esquire did say Tegra. And quite frankly, I'm not mad at that answer. Hey, Jared, if you scroll up a little bit while, while um, uh, we have some people type in here in our chat. Uh, well, I meant in, in our show notes, in our show oh. notes. If you look up to the main section of our Know Your Enemy, yeah. I, wrote, I wrote down the projected uh, starting lineup there. How do you, how would you pronounce the nose tackle number ninety nine for, oh, for why, why 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 would you do this to me live on the show? Because uh, it, this is fun. This is fun. Fun for who? Everybody that's not named Jared. <laughs> I have to zoom first. I have to zoom in to even read the screenshot. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, no, gonna, don't. Gonna I already copy. zoomed there, in. There. I already zoomed in. I already there. zoomed in. Nathan. Capongo. I quite frankly think I nailed that. All right. Awesome. All right. Austin says my player to watch is Jeremiah Smith, and I don't care how basic that is. Honestly, fair. <laughs> Honestly, totally fair. Good pronunciation, Jared. Uh, Austin, you're, you're a white guy from Ohio, too, so I don't know how much of a... Uh, I don't know what your authority is on signing off on my 
I am fluent in Spanish. I don't think he's Spanish. That that sounded very Pacific Island. It sounded very Pacific Island based off of the spelling. But it gives me more credence. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Then you. OK, that's fair. Then me. Sure. I'll take that. You you can have that. But that that's a super low bar. Enemy player to watch. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan's from Maine. I don't care where. <laughs> I was born enemy, in West Virginia. Watch. That doesn't enemy mean player. my last name is McCoy. Enemy player or to watch Hatfield here. for that matter. Enemy We're totally off to the rails. Um, we didn't talk. We didn't really talk much <laughs> of the defense, but they have a. They have a tree of linebackers that's um, returning from last year. So that's, I guess, something maybe going for, for Akron there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, their two leading tackles is Jared and I's at player to watch. Uh, Jared had, Jared picked Brian McCoy and I picked uh, sure, just, Jatavius Fish. Just both, do my both answer the for me. Leading, tackle, leading tackles for the, for the Akron Zips. Sure. Just, just, just. You just read my answer for me, Kyle. Jeez. I did. I did. Did you just not hear me? No, that's... Uh, if I didn't I, hear you, how would I know you did it? What? Don't you love this, guys? You do the show. All right. All right. Hey, guys, hey, hey, um, hey, uh, Sloop Cat's in the chat there. Uh, who's who's your uh, enemy player to watch here? Is it is it Jared going off the walls right now or... I'm I'm just excited oh, yeah. we're back. I'm just excited we're back. That's all. And Simmons, fair. Fair. All right. Uh key matchup. Uh since Jared's not talking anymore. I mean, I'll I'll read I know, I'm Jared's here. I'm like, here. key matchup. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Okay. okay. Hi. All right. All right. All right. All right. What what is your what is uh Jared's uh key, key matchup. matchup? Will Howard versus the moment. I I just it's his first game as a buckeye. Go out there, execute. Akron's not going to get in your way that hard. Go out there, execute the offense, look efficient. Don't get in your head about it. Don't let 110,000 people shake you. I mean, they're not going to be that they're, they're not going to be that up for the Akron game anyway. It's the 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 horseshoe's yeah. not going to be rocking. But the moment's going to feel big. The stadium's going to feel big. Just go out there and execute the offense. Will Howard versus the moment key matchup. Okay. Um, I know typically we like to have key matchups like offensive line versus defensive line, linebackers for versus the running backs. But Offensive line versus the linebackers is really the correct answer. It's just I'm going to pick the offensive line yeah. so many times this year that I didn't want to do it against Akron. Yeah. I mean, this for this game, honestly, it's I, I really don't think there's like key matchups. There there really isn't. I I it's it's really good it comes down to the mental mistakes. You're week one against a yeah. um an inferior team coming in here. Yeah. Uh I want I want to I want to see as clean of a football game as possible. Um miss miss snaps, um um Poor blocking, poor tackling. I, I, I want to see all of that. I want to see that all clean, cleaned up. There, I uh, talked about utter dominance, putting putting Akron to bed early, just absolute dominance altogether. I want I want to see a mental free, um, mis mistake free, mistake free, uh, game here. As uh, Esquire says, can we all agree thir 330 kickoffs, uh, 330 kicks absolutely blow. Th this is yep. the new reality for the Big Ten. And, and I mean, yes, but if you have a crappy game, it's going to be 330 now. We used to shit on a game for like being a nooner. But because of Fox's television strategy, because CBS is the low team on the total or the lowest sort of rung on the Big Ten totem pole. I don't even know if this is I don't even know what channel this is on. It might be. I, I don't know. But point is, is that. 
noon is supposed to be the big premiere spot. And then the eight o'clock or seven thirty game is like the next spot. Uh, the shitty games are going to get stuck at three thirty. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Three thirty is SEC nap time. Yeah, it's peak. I absolutely cannot get my kids to leave me alone to focus on the game time. That's uh, not relatable for me, but I, I, I feel you. Um, the game is on CBS. Yeah, I, it was either CBS yeah. or Big Ten at the three thirty slot. Yep. Uh, key matchup from chat is uh, Chip Kelly versus coaching from the box. There you go. When was the last time he's been in a box? Huge adjustment. Will, will will it cause Ohio State to lose to Akron? Maybe. No. The spread, probably probably the most important question here, Jared. The spread yeah, yeah. is Ohio State by 50 points. 15 and a half is the spread. I'm going with the zips here. It's just too how big of a number. How dare, guys, guys, we got to shit on Jared for the rest of the year. He, it's week one. We're all excited yeah, yeah. for Ohio State. We're ready for some Buckeye football and he picks against Ohio state. Austin said he also picked the zips. We Austin, need, I talked, helping. I talked a lot about this on the Monday episode on the over under pre uh, preseason over under episode. We need to readjust how we think about numbers and scores. The games are going to be shorter reaching 50 points is going to be a lot more difficult now. And yeah, if Ohio State went in there and executed a game plan with the desire to get the 50 points, they could. But why? Week one is about patriotism, not being technically correct. Yeah. Austin says the number is just so large. Yeah. Ohio State might not even get 10 possessions. if you look at said. historically, historically with Ohio State playing MAC teams, they dominate. They honestly do dominate. Because originally, when I looked at when I looked at, I looked at this schedule, I'm like, oh, ooh, that's a, that's a big number. I just I don't know if I can pick Ohio State here. But then I look at, oh, they they beat Toledo seventy seven to twenty one a few years ago. Oh, they beat Akron uh, three years ago. This is not to seven. This is not going to, to be. Seven. This is going to be a run first team. This is going to be a they defensive beat, team. They beat Miami seventy six to five. Rules. New clock rules, Kyle. New clock rules. Ohio State's going to be run first, not pass first this year. Add that to the new clock rules. Add that to the fact that the defense is going to be pretty damn dominant. And therefore, the game might just get out of reach even sooner. Therefore, they're just going to quit sooner. And we're going to see the backups sooner. Bowling Green, 77 to 10. Okay, fine. Pick So so you're picking Ohio State. Pick Ohio State. You can just go one I up am. on me. Just go one up on me early in the season. It's fine. I am. I am. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you. I don't I don't need the charity here to to beat you on the on the sloop picks here. So I but I appreciate it also technically correct um um what do you what do you what does everybody in the chat have here what do we have um, as a final also, score prediction yeah, final score um, final score i'm going for, 52 to 7 ah jared i know i didn't the correct i didn't i didn't the correct the answer the correct oh. answer is the thing right now it is 62 to 7 is the final score I didn't do the thing. I apologize. It is 62 to 7. Austin says 56 to 13. He is, in fact, also keeping up tradition. I didn't keep up tradition. I just don't. Again, numbers are going to be smaller now. We have new clock rules. I'm sorry. Numbers are going to be different now. We have new clock rules. The games are going to be shorter. Mm -hmm. We have to adjust to that understand all right as is tradition here uh austin has given us his uh, kyle his over kyle? his over unders but first a quick ad break no big spiel this time patreon.thesloopcast.com here are those ads now and we're back 
Uh, we didn't have a formal guest picker, Austin. That's why we're asking chat for uh, to, to fill in the gaps. All right. Austin's over unders for the for week one here. Uh, ben, ben Finley over under 152 and a half point or points. 152 and a half yards passing under uh, under. Next question. Yeah. Will Howard the defense is going to be utterly dominant. Will Howard total touchdowns three and a half total touchdowns. Uh, yeah, I'll go over. I'll, I'll go, go over on that one. I'll go over because it's if, he's, if this was passing, I'd say under. <laughs> yeah. Total implies that right. running also counts. Uh, that Same makes for like. much more possible, uh, especially considering it's, it's a bad it's actor three and team. One. Three and one. I three passing one run rushing. I think I think it's like I I think it's three. Yeah, three and one. Three and one. OK. Ohio State rush team rushing yards at 234 and a half. I'm going to go over. I'll, I'll take over on that. Just just um, a gut just a gut feeling. Yeah. I'm I'm going to go over. 300 300 from chat earlier is a lot. Yeah. And I I would probably take the under for that, but 234 and a half I'll take over for that. Number. The only thing that'll stop Ohio State from doing this is Ohio State choosing not to do this. Because yeah. uh it's just total team rushing yards. So you get Devin Brown's mm-hmm. rushing yards in there. You get James Peoples yeah. rushing yards in there. Yeah, I'll take the over on that. Probably my one of the actually probably my biggest thing I want to look at here is this next next one. Ohio State sacks allowed at one and a half. I I hope I hope, it needs, hope it it's needs under. to be under that. It needs to be got to be under. Has to be under. I Jeremiah mean, Smith the, only, the, thing, the only thing that makes me really even hesitate on that is like fourth quarter. Devin Brown maybe trying a little too hard to show something, tries to make a play happen a little too hard, gets sacked, could screw us over in this case. But yeah, I'm still going to go under. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah Smith, three and a half catches. It's a good number. I, I'm going to go over. Um, I'd feel better yeah. if it were touches. Because I feel like some sort of you can't push on a half, um, <laughs> it, you know, because I feel like it's some sort of run or maybe even a return. Does a return count as a touch? I believe it does. Um, if you actually return it. But yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll go. Say, I'll go over. Yeah, I'll say over, I'll say over as well, too. Akron yards per rush at two point six nine. Nice. Nice. Um, I don't even remember. I don't even remember looking at what their rushing average I'm, was I'm going, last year. I'm going under. He says 2.8 last year. Austin says. Mm, all right. Uh, I'm going, they, they do have a much, I mean, they bring in a running back who I really like, but I, I don't think it matters for this game under. Yeah, I'll, I'll go under. I'll go under too, just because sacks do count towards rushing, and not against the passing total, like in the NFL. That's a valid point. All right, and last one is Trey and Judd total touches at twenty eight and a half. It's a good number. I'm gonna go under. Yeah, my gut's under just because of trying to get the ball out to wide range of wide range it's just of the games. Uh, it's just the, this game. the game's going to be over so quickly. And those guys have really long seasons yeah, ahead they'll, of they'll them. Get like, they'll each get like eight, 10 touches. I was and thinking, I was thinking 12, but 12 still puts us very yeah, far under. I'll say under, I will say under as well. The one thing that does make me hesitate on that is I feel like Will Howard's a bit of a check down Charlie. I feel like that will increase. I think we'll have like more running back receptions this year than maybe we saw under previous quarterbacks who were more downfield throwers. I feel like Will Howard's a little bit more like conservative pro quarterback who might, who's going to do a fair amount of check downs to the running backs. And that is Austin's over-unders for week one. Awesome.
Um, Kyle, I think, I think that's the show. Um, are there any other Ask Loopcast questions we should get to? Uh, you want to check the channel real quick? Uh, which quarter will the backups be sent out? Um, third. Third. Yep. And, and not in for the right. And just, 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 just to spice that prediction up, not the beginning of the third. I feel like this is like a, the starters Second get. Possession. Yeah, one, one or possession. two possessions in the third quarter. Who scores? Who scores the first touchdown? Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Judkins. I, it's thinking Trey Judkins. or Judkins. Trey or Judkins. I'll. You you said Judkins. I'll go Trey. All right. Um. Ballard for a return. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day, Kyle, one day. Uh, all right, that's it. I, I think I think we'll we'll go ahead and end it right there. All right. Uh, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Um, The crew. Yeah, yeah. The Columbus crew. You did uh, cover this just I know we recorded just like two days ago. But they, I know. they did. You did just cover this. I did, but still, Columbus Crew. <laughs> Columbus Crew is is the champions of the world. Uh, they uh, they're 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 the world's team uh, right now. <laughs> uh, is is American soccer, Kyle? Let's let's pump the brakes on that a bit, huh? <laughs> let's uh, let's Lee, pump Lee, the League Cup League Cup champions for the first time. Yeah, uh, it's a a great year great year so far for the Columbus crew and it's just getting started Ren and Ennis I think is also a good answer to the question Esquire alright alright All right. is that I, it I think, I think we're good I think we're good ready ready for ready to see those Buckeyes on the field yeah yeah same alright that's Know Your Enemy Akron if you're new around these parts we uh, do an Ohio State preview on Thursday, and we do a national preview on Friday. This is your Ohio State preview. We call it Know Your Enemy. On Friday, we do sloop picks. We will pick five, or excuse me, six additional games against the, we, we pick seven games against the spread every week. You just heard our Ohio State pick. We do six additional on Friday. We call that episode the sloop picks. Sloop picks week one this Friday. Uh, if you're listening to this on Friday, it's already out. So uh, with all that being said, I'll wait a minute. Introduce Jared. Talk about the SCO. Uh, we haven't done an SCO episode in a very long time. <laughs> we should bring back the SCO. Not that. What, what SCO? Oh, the Sloopcast social screen. Yeah, if you join the Discord server, the Sloopcast social screen, uh, you, you can watch games with us live in the Discord server once a week. We do that. Uh, we pick like one time window of the week and we all gather around in the Discord server and we watch the we watch a game together. It has been the Ohio State game in the past. It won't always be. In fact, rarely is. I find that I let the Discord people vote on it. Um, they almost never pick the Ohio State game. Uh, I think we all like to sit because I feel like this is most of our Discord server when there's an Ohio State game. This is for the YouTube folks. Sorry, podcast listeners. This is our this is, I think, most of us during an Ohio State game. I think that's why we don't want to do the Ohio State games. Usually like two times right. a year. Yeah, I think so. All right, that's it. That's the end of today's episode. Tonight's uh, ending music uh, will be playing to Vapors, one of my favorite Columbus area bands. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is playing to Vapors. <laughs>